switching gears, uh, you still working with Shogun? Is that going well? Shogun was going very well, you know, but then he, 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 you know, he came out for a, a couple weeks and we, we, we had real good recessions and he had to go back home, but he's going to come back out before his fight and sharpen up a little bit. And uh, he says, because the first couple of days I said, Shogun, you punch like a girl. And uh, he, when, he, when he left, he says, do I punch like a boy now? I said, yes, you do. <laughs> so we had a great time and it was a lot of good work. I just finished working with George St. Pierre. George was doing Captain America, and then, so he'd come to see me every day, and uh, I'm going to go up to Montreal. Um, he invited me up for the Boutet fight, actually, so I might go up and see him and just uh, spend some time with him, with him up there. What have you been working with George, and what did you make of his fight against Nick Diaz? He, you know, he did okay with Diaz, but he was a little bit sick going into the fight, and he, I think he could have done a lot better, but he's a little disappointed in that because Diaz's mouth is very... Big, so but you know that's the way he goes. But the thing is, his next opponent is the Southpaw, who's a good Hendricks with a good punch and so forth. I have tape on Hendricks. We're working on how to nullify uh, what he does, and uh, I think we get the game plan pretty much down already, and we're, we're, we're working on it. You know, he's always looking for that big shot. I mean, he's a, you know he's a wrestler, veteran wrestler, of course, a good wrestler, but he doesn't even like to wrestle. He depends on that big left hand, so he doesn't want to even go to the ground too much but uh, um, he's not really difficult to figure out though. Do you feel that Diaz was a more difficult opponent to figure out for George than Hendricks is from, wh from what you've seen? They both fight in straight lines and so forth and a lot of the MMA fighters do this they don't use angles at all and so forth so you know George is working on them all the time and getting better and better at it so I, I think we have an advantage but um, um, yeah, um, the biggest thing is I have the better fighter also, and that's George St. Pierre. Any new signings to the stable over at Wildcard? Any big fighters coming over that you're going to train? Well, Shiming Zhao is really um, uh, going to be a very, very good fighter, two-time gold medalist, and he's, we just had a fight in Macau, and the viewing audience for his fight in Macau was 300, crazy numbers. 300 million. Yeah. So, uh, you know, he's, he's going to be a star, I believe. I think he'll be world champion. You know, he boxed with Brian Valori every day. And, you know, he's in no pro fight yet, but he was, he, he was right there with Brian every day. Brian, was, he was kind enough to give us the work, and uh, I think he'll I think he'll be a future champion. And uh, I, I get a couple calls from a couple of heavyweights that want to come by, and they, they tell me they can fight. So uh, Monday I'll, I'll have a new guy, and I'll, I'll, I'll see if he can fight. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a... Just something that's interesting, the the feeling out process. You you know like, hey, let's see what you got. Let's see if uh, you have what it takes to be trained over here. They want to fly all the way. You want to fly to LA and come see me. I uh, uh, I'll work with you. But if if you if you can't fight, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, but if they can, uh, you know, we'll go somewhere with it. You know. So, uh, you know, I, I mean, we get calls every day. I mean, I mean, from 50 year old guys who want to make comebacks to um, young kids who want want want. want want to start their career so it's a lot of fun Freddie it was fun chatting with you that's for sure <laughs> here with Freddie Roach in Nevada Marcos Vegas fight up TV